Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my minimal makeup look today. Um, I was going to, so, I mean, I was supposed to work this morning, but again, snowed in. So, I mean, the snow isn't too terrible, but they called me this morning and told me that I didn't have to come in for work. So I was like, oh, okay. And I didn't really want to make my dad like tell him and be like, oh, plow the driveway more so I could get to work tonight instead. It's just there's really no point because I know it's going to be dead. We were dead last night for the Super Bowl. I doubt we're going to be busy tonight. So I'm working t tomorrow and Wednesday morning, and I'm supposed to be busy the rest of the week. So I'm supposed to sleep over Liz's on Wednesday. Then we go to the bridal fitting on Thursday. Then Friday, I'm supposed to see Ren, and then Saturday, I'm supposed to uh, see Josh like usual. So... Um, and then I'm working Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and, uh, Saturday morning, so I'm not really too concerned about plans this week other than that. So, yeah, um, I just decided to slap on some makeup because I feel like my skin isn't looking that good. So, I mean, it, it doesn't look terrible, but I just felt like I needed a little bit just to, um, help the blotchiness a little bit because I feel like it looks a little bit blotchy. So I just threw on the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Covered Serum Concealer in the color Light and the MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose. And then I just set the under eye with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and the um, eyes. And then I just set the rest of my face with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. I did also bring it down my neck a little bit just because it has a color to it. So I didn't want it to look like tan here and then like nothing here. So I like bringing it down my neck just a little bit. It's just powder. So then I just threw on the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara on the top and the bottom. And then I just um, threw on some blush. I just went in with a really neutral blush. I just used Clinique's Nude Pop Blush. Cheek Pop and Nude Pop. And then I just highlighted with Hourglass's Luminous Light Powder and I put it all over my face just because it's like so natural and it always looks so pretty. So I just decided to highlight and set everything with the Hourglass powder and then I just spritz my face with the Smashbox primer water because I'm not looking for my makeup to last today I just wanted something to hydrate my face and uh, just let it set so I just use that and then I just brush through my brows with a spoolie and then set them with the Anastasia clear brow gel no reason for filling them in and then I just went in with the ColourPop lippy stick and the shade Aquarius I am so obsessed with this lipstick it's not even funny. Like, whenever I'm, like, in my house doing nothing or, like, um, going to the gym, I always slap on one of these ColourPop Libby sticks now because they're just so easy to, to slap on. And I just love how this one feels. And this is the one I've been wearing so much when I'm either when I'm not working or, like, when I'm just going to the mall before work. I love this. So I was going to go to the mall today to hopefully go get some makeup, but since <laughs> there's no way I'm leaving my house right now, my car is like completely snowed in right now. It's, I mean, it's not that there's that much snow outside because my dad did plow, but my car is covered with snow, so I have to go clear it off at some point. So there's no way I'm going anywhere today. So I'm just going to watch Better Call Saul, and then I have a pretty eventful week after this. So there's really no reason for me to go anywhere today. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I was really hoping to use more of my neutral palettes this week because I was supposed to work five days in a row, but since I'm not working today, then I'm just going to obviously use them Tuesday and Wednesday. I think I'm going to use the Tartlet palette tomorrow and then Wednesday either Morphe or Chocolate Bonbons. I'm not really sure, but I mean, I was supposed to use the Tartlet, the Morphe, and the Chocolate Bonbons this week, but since I'm not working today, then there's not really any reason for me to. And yeah, that's it. Bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I'm so excited to take my makeup off right now because... I worked from like 11.30 to 6.30 and I am just tired right now. I do have to get some t some stuff together for tomorrow night though because I'm sleeping over at my best friend's house. But I'm just too exhausted right now that I'm just going to relax for like maybe an hour or so. And I also have to wash my hair. Just like I got home from work like a lot later than I expected to. I didn't get home till like 6. I thought I was going to be home at like 4 or 5 o'clock the latest. But I didn't get home until 6. <laughs> So anyway, sorry, I can um, prime my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. 
Then I went in again with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color vanilla. I've just been really digging this foundation the past couple days, so I decided to wear it again today. And the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10 and the Kevin Aquan Celestial Liquid Lightning. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and the MAC Pepper and Primate Radiant Rose. Then I set everything with the MAC Myrtle Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. Then I Prime my eyes with the MAC 24 hour eyeshadow, prep and prime 24 hour eyeshadow base. And then I went in with the MAC Emphasize Powder to set that. And then I went in with the Tartlet and Bloom palette again today. I wasn't going to use this this week, but then I felt like using it today. Um, I, I end up using this at least once a week now. I really, really love it. So I decided to go in with Flower Child on the crease, like usual, as my transition shade. I've been digging into this shade a lot. Then I went in with Sweet Talker on the crease, then I darkened up the crease more with Rebel, and then I went in with Leader on the outer corners. And then for the lid color, I went in with ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Weenie again. This The um, ColourPop shade, one of the shades from the quad from Kathleen Lights. I just love this shade. This is actually like the third time I've worn it already. I don't know. I just can't get enough of it. So I wanted to do more of like a pink look again today. I don't feel like it's it really stayed as much on the lid as it's supposed to though. I don't know what happened, but it's just like not as much on the lid as I want it to be, but whatever. And then I went in with Charmer, this matte white color on the brow bone. Then for then I did actually get up a little bit earlier so I could have time to line my eyes and contour today because I didn't get to do any makeup yesterday so I wanted to do as much makeup as I could today. I know that sounds bad but I like doing kind of like a, and it was worth it because I left, I've been, had this on since like 11.30 and now it's like almost 8 o'clock at night. Um, then I line my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Mad Max Brown. Then I went in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara on the top. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm and the MAC Prep and Prime and Radiant Rose. Then I set that with the Lauren Mercier Super Brightening Powder. Then I went in with the MAC I Send and Play Get a Black Lash on the bottom lashes. And then I went in with Funny Girl on the inner corners. I really do like that one on the inner corners. So yeah, I've been really enjoying this palette a lot. Then I contoured with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter with the darker shade and then baked it with the lighter shade. Then I went in with the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette and I went in with the shade Easy on the cheeks and then I kind of neutralized the pink a little bit more and I went over it with Angel and it's still like, you can still see it on my cheeks, like that lasted a really long time. Super impressed with that. I just wanted to sheer out the pink more so I decided to put on a little bit of Angel too. Then I highlighted with Cover Effects Illuminator in the shade Moonlight. I really love this color and I really wanted to use it today so... Then of course I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder and then I set everything with a new setting spray today. I actually have a sample of this that I haven't used since I've gotten it and I was like, you know what, I need to test this out. I was kind of going through my um, samples for um, my makeup samples and I decided to use this new Makeup Forever sample that I had called the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Mist and Fix, I'm pretty sure. I've seen so many people raving about it on YouTube lately that I was like, I need to try this. And it was really nice and kept my makeup on all day. I might still like my Urban Decay a little bit better, but this was really pretty. It made my face really dewy and pretty, so I was definitely digging that. And then I filled in my brows with a Chanel brow pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Claire Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the Lumiere ColourPop Lippy Pencil. And then I filled them in with the Makeup Monsters Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sedona. And then I topped it with the NARS Lip Gloss in the shade Chelsea Girls. It's just because I'm trying to like go back. I'm trying to wear like two new shades and then two old shades like every week. I feel like that'll make me use my lipsticks a lot more. I just like again I'm so overwhelmed with lipsticks. But it's like I still want to go back to like some of my classic favorites like this for example. But this is like basically the most perfect this has looked today. For some reason, I had to apply it so much at work. I mean, not that it was transferring or anything like that or wearing off. I just had a little bit bits of crumblies on the lips. I think it was from the lip gloss. But of course, when I applied it today, now it looks fine. Um, but now I'm, I'm about to go take it off because I can't wear it anymore. I was going to film today, but 
I do have one more video to post tomorrow in order to be good for a couple days. Um, I might actually post it on Friday instead because I don't really have time to film until Friday afternoon if I decide to because uh, I'm supposed to sleep over Liz's tomorrow then I'm supposed to go to a bridal appointment with her on Thursday afternoon and then I'm supposed to go to my boyfriend's house Thursday night but I'm not sure if that's going to happen and then Friday night I'm supposed to see Ren and then Saturday work and then see my boyfriend so I don't know what I'm going to fit uh, filming in and plus I don't really have any idea of what I'm going to film the only things again that I wanted to film was eventually when I pick up makeup I want to film a haul but I haven't been able to pick up any makeup lately because today I wanted to pick up makeup but I ended up not being able to take my car to work and then like I didn't get done with work until 6 o'clock anyway so there was no point of going to Sephora so I might just order some stuff online first and then go to Sephora like next week or something so yeah let me stop rambling so yeah I'm tired bye Okay, so hi, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I'm not really sure if I'm going out again, so this is either my first makeup look or my last because um, I was supposed to go to my best friend's house today, but she hasn't answered me back the whole day, so I don't know if I'm going there or not. I was supposed to go sleep over. This is like the first time I had plans since like Friday, so I was excited to go. Um, but I don't know if I'm going or not, so, and I'm not really too happy about my, how my makeup looks anyway, but I did get a compliment at work today saying that my makeup looks good. So, yeah, I did actually oversleep this morning because I forgot to turn on my alarm. I mean, I didn't oversleep too bad, like, I still had enough time to throw on some makeup and leave, but, um, I'm just trying to see if it looks okay, yeah. Um, but it was like... Um, I was like rushing and like running out the door because, um, but at least my mom decided to make eggs today for my brother because then she asked if I wanted some. So then my breakfast was already made so I didn't have to spend the time like toasting something like it was already ready. So that was good. So I think that was the only thing that really saved me to be on time, honestly. So I was still on time, miraculously. Sorry. Something in my teeth. Mmm. <laughs> ah crap sorry I just had a salad so I guess alright anyway you don't have to see that plus you're not going to be able to see it while I'm talking anyway but I just ate a dead salad from cheesecake um, because s sometimes if they don't eat a certain item that a customer orders they let us take it home or we throw it out. So I just decided to take it home because it was so dead today and there was no managers on the floor. So I was just like, whatever, I'm taking this home. Like this has been in the window for like a half hour. So I took it home and ate it. So I primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and the Makeup Forever Step On Equalizer in the Nourishing Primer. Then I went in with the Giorgio Armani Lumis Cell Foundation in the color 5 and the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10 and the Kevin Aquan Celestial Liquid Lightning. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Bare Minerals Bare Skit Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in the color light, excuse me. And the MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose. And then I set everything with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. Then I um, went in with Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek as a transition shade. And then I went in with the Morphe 35O palette today. And I just used a couple of matte shades from this. I was thinking about just using Makeup Geek today. But it didn't take me very long to just throw these on. So I wasn't sure how much time I would have had. But I just drew on some matte shadows. I used this one in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more, I believe, with this one. It was either this one or this one. I usually always use those two colors in the crease. They're really pretty. I think it was this one. Really pretty colors, these two. These are definitely like my two favorite matte shades in the palette. Then I went in with this color on the uh, outer corners. And then I just went in with these two colors on the brow bone. And I think that was it from the palette because um, I wanted to use a different uh, brand on the lid. So I just went in with... I want to use these more often too, like I'm making sure that I use these shadows more often. So I went in with the Kat Von D 
um, Metal Cross Shadow in this shade Synergy on the lid. It's just such a pretty color. It pretty much looks like it blended in, but it's a really gorgeous color, so I decided to use that on the lid. Then I just went in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara on the bottom and the top. And then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Cover Serum Concealer in the color Light and the MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose. And then I set everything with the Laura Mercier Secret Running Powder. Then I highlighted the inner quarters with Makeup Geek's Foiled Shadow in the shade Starry Eyed. I just used a lot of Holy Grail products today too because I know like when I'm in a hurry I know it's always going to look good. So I was just like I'm just going to use Starry Eyed. Then I didn't contour because I didn't have time, so I just went in with NARS's blush in Madly. I always know it's like my go-to blush. And then I highlight with Becca Shimmy Skin Perfector Pressed in Opal. Again, my favorite, and just I know it's always going to look absolutely amazing. And then I just um, <clears throat> went over everything with the Hourglass Women's Light Powder. And then I did use the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix again. I really am enjoying it, and I want to test it out more, and I really do like it so far. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then for the lips, I primed them with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF2. And then I filled them in with the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. I'm trying to use more of my liquid lipsticks recently. I was going to use Among the Fireflies today. But then I was like, no, I want to stick with some Kat Von D products. And I like how it looks with this shade on the lid. I think they like match perfectly. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll see if I go out again and I'll see if I record another makeup look. Um, I want to wear my H&M donut shirt today and I was going to do like blue on the lid and pink on the crease. So we'll see. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. So I primed my face with the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and the Makeup, For makeup Forever Step On Equalizer in the Nourishing Primer. Then I went in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer 2-in-1 Foundation. I'm still trying to see if I like this foundation or not. So far, I don't like it at all. Um, I'm really disappointed in it because I saw that Kat, Candy Johnson absolutely raved about this foundation. I don't know if it was just because I applied it wrong or what it was, but I don't think I applied it wrong. I just think maybe I applied too much. But the fact that when I came home, my my blush was blotchy as hell. Like, it literally looked like it just faded off this entire part of my face. It looked like it, it faded all around my chin and around here. And then I feel like it also faded around my entire forehead in the center. So, and it just looked like my highlight was a broken up mess on the center of my forehead. And I was like, what the fuck happened? So... I can't point out anything else except for this foundation and it's really driving me crazy because again, Candy Johnson said this was her favorite foundation ever. I don't know if I should just use it by itself and see how it turns out that way, but I'm not really sure. I mean like I'm really mad that I don't like this because I really thought it was going to be freaking amazing and I feel like it's dry around my nose. I feel like it's dry around here. I feel like it was my face was itchy for a while. Then I feel like it wasn't as annoying when I was out because I actually was out today for the first time in like a couple days. Um, but I can only, the only thing I can point out or think that it's a factor is this because this is the only thing that I did different in my routine and I literally had to go over with the concealer I was wearing today to cover up everything else. And I feel like it covered really well um, the parts that got broken up. I was just really disappointed. So I'm not sure I'm going to have to test it out again. I don't think my skin likes full coverage foundation. Um, I'm actually a little bit disappointed I returned the Marc Jacobs one because the Marc Jacobs one didn't do this to my face. So... I don't know. I'm really, really upset. So um, I'm going to test it out tomorrow and see how it is. I gave it a really good shake and I applied it with the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops and the Kevin Aquan Celestia Liquid Lightning, the, N the Cover Drops in N10 because the lady at Sephora told me to um, apply it with the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops because she told me that this still was coming out a little bit too yellow for me. I did get the latest shade. The shade is called... 0.5 Breeze, I guess. Breeze? Is that what it's called? 
I don't know. I guess so. I think she told me this was the latest sheet. I thought they had a sheet called Late or something. Um, but I think they were sold out of the later shade because, you know, a lot of people are talking about this foundation. I don't know if my skin just hated it because I have to see how it wears tomorrow. Um, I don't know. We'll see. So then um, I did conceal and highlight with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer today. I can't remember what shade I am. I will list it below. Um... Yeah, I got the latest color, Breeze. So, yeah. And then it's still pretty yellow. I think I might be... I don't know. We'll see how I like it. I'm going to try it out again tomorrow. Um, but I actually really like the concealer a lot. I actually completely covered up all of this here and all of this here and all of this here and all of this here with the concealer. Covered so well. So... We'll see how I like the foundation. And then also the MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose. Then I set everything with the MAC Miller Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. Then I prime my eyes with the MAC 24 Hour Prep and Prime Eyeshadow Base. And then I set that with the MAC Mineral Eyes Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. And then I went in with Makeup Geek Speeches and Cream as my transition shade. And then I went in with a bunch of make a bunch of my Makeup Geek shadows on the crease. I went in with um Creme Brulee. Then I darkened up the crease with Coco Bear. Then I went in with Bitten on the outer corners. And then on the lid, I went in with the Kat Von D Metal Crush Shadow in the shade Dose. Um, I just wanted to use more of her Metal Crush Shadows this week. So I decided to use that yesterday and then Synergy the day before, which was yesterday. Um, and then for the brow bone, I went in with Makeup Geek's Vanilla Bean like I always do. Then I line my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper, and then I prime my lashes with the Lancome Primer, Seals, Boost, Seals Booster XL Primer, and then went over them with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Then I concealed and highlighted on my, under my eyes with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer and the MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose, and then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then I went in with the MAC Attend Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom lashes, and then I went in with... Makeup Geeks in the spotlight, I'm Peaches, and my tie on the inner corners just to give a little bit more um, depth and dimension just because I really love those colors in the inner corners and it adds a really beautiful pop. And then I um, contoured and sculpted with the MAC Sculpting Powder from the MAC Sculpt Powder from the MAC Contour and Sculpt Yourself Palette. And then I went in with Peaches and Trace Gold from the same palette. And then I highlighted with the Anastasia Glow Kit in the she in the Kit Gleam in the color Mimosa. And then I went over it with the Becker Shimming Skin Perfector Pressed in Champagne Pop. Then of course I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. Then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty, Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined my lips with the Urban Decay 24 Hour Pencil. 24-7 Glide On Slide On Pencil in the shade Liar, and then I filled them in with the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, bye. I want to rip off my makeup right now, so bye. Okay, so hi. So I just want to tell you about my makeup look for today. So I primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. Then I went in with the Clinique 2-in-1 um, Clinique Perf complete perfection the new Clinique foundation the one that I talked about yesterday um two-in-one foundation and concealer in the shade <coughs> breeze and then the cover effects custom cover drops in n10 and the um Kevin Aquan Celestia liquid lightning I am enjoying this foundation more today than I did yesterday but I only wore it for about two and a half hours today I didn't wear it for the whole day because I did just go out at like 7 30 I just got home um around 10 it's now like almost 10 30 I'm about to go take my makeup off anyway yeah but I only went to see one of my friends and then <laughs> came back home so um so far, I like it more than yesterday, but I still feel like it's a little bit too much coverage for me. But it did look pretty flawless today, so I am very happy about that. And everything else seemed to lay better on top of it today. So, 
Um, what I did is I just brushed the foundation on first and then I just mixed the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops and the Kevin Kwan Celestial Liquid Lightning on my hand and then dabbed the rest on my face. Like, I directly applied the foundation first and then I applied the Kevin Kwan and the Cover FX Drops to my face after that and then I blended it in and I seemed to... I think that might work better, but at the same time, it's still a lot of coverage. I still feel like this foundation really covers really well. So we'll see. I'm going to keep on testing it out, but I definitely like how it feels now better than yesterday, and it did make my makeup last a lot longer this time, but we'll see how it goes. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Cover Serum Concealer in the color Light. I kind of for forgot to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD today because I was like, didn't I have to use a new concealer today? And I had already applied the Bare Minerals when I was like, whatever. Um, and then the MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose. And then I set everything with the MAC Merlite Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. Then I, um, actually... Well, I primed my eyes with the Smashbox 24 Hour Primer and then went over them with the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. And then I finally decided to use the Too Faced Rock and Roll Palette today. I haven't used it yet and I was like, you know what, maybe I want to try a few of the colors out. I did just use three of the colors, but I used, at least I used it. I used the color Rockability all over my... Um, Whoops, all over my eye. Then I went in with the Urban Decay Electric Palette and I used the shade Thrash because I have to use that when I use my Maleficent shirt. It's like the perfect shade for it. And then I darkened up the crease more with this green color right here called Punk. And then for the lid, I went in with ColourPop's um, su su bleh, Super Shock Shadow in the shade Dare. I love this color. Like, look at that color. It's so pretty. And then for the outer corners, I went in with this color called Pop. And then for the brow bone, I just went in with Rockability again on the brow bone. I really do like these colors. Hopefully, I'll be able to use these a little bit more. But I finally decided to use it today. Um, I haven't used it since I gotten it. So, it was pretty. So, hopefully, I'll be able to put a look together or something. I'm just really trying to work on my blending skills. I mean, I think I blend a little bit better. But my outer corners always seem to stick out and not look very good. But... At least my blending is getting better, but I'm still trying to work on it. Then I line my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Lighter. It's super. Oh my god, I'm tired. Excuse me. Um. <coughs> then I prime my lashes with the Lancome Seal. The Lancome Seals XL Booster, and then went over them with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the. Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in the color Light and the MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose. And then I set that with the Laura Mercier Stick Brightening Powder. Then I went in with the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom lashes. And then I went in with Makeup Geeks Filled Shadow in the shade Fantasy on the inner corners. Then I contoured with the MAC Contour and Sculpt Yourself Palette in the shade Sculpt. And then I baked it with the MAC Emphasize Powder. And then I... Um, went in with the Benefit Box Blush in the shade Hervana. I know I haven't used it in forever, but it kind of faded already, and it didn't really come off as purple as I wanted it to, but you know, whatever. At least it's, like, really neutral, and it doesn't really matter when you do, like, a colorful eye. Then I highlighted with the, oh my gosh, you yawning, I'm sorry. I highlighted with the Anastasia Glow Kit in, um, in, uh, Gleam. In the shades, um, what were the shades? Starburst and Crushed Pearl. I believe it was Starburst, yeah. Yeah. And then I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. Then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I think I did fill them in. Did I forget? I think I forgot. Whoopsie. Oh, well. I actually did forget to fill in my brows. Um, I don't think I even brushed them out with uh, brow gel. Did I forget? I think I forgot. Oh well. Then I primed my lips with the White Beauty Lip Primer. Then I filled them in. And then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Scent. The ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Lumiere. And then I filled them in with the Lime Crime Velveteen in the shade Faded. Um, I was going to wear... Fiore, but then I was like, you know, I want to do something a little bit more subtle. I don't need to do a hot pink lip every single time I wear this shirt, so I wanted to wear like a mauve purple color. And that is it. Bye! Okay, so hi, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. My makeup doesn't look amazing, I'm sorry. Just today wasn't like the greatest day, but 
whatever. I had to like redo it a little bit. But anyway, um, yeah, that looks fine. So it did work, and then I went to my boyfriend's house, but I'm feeling really tired and really shitty, so um, I primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and the Makeup Forever Supplement Equalizer and the Nourishing Primer on my nose. Then I went in with the Giorgio Armani <gasps> Luminous Silk Foundation in the color 5. I just decided to go back to my go-to foundation. It's still my favorite one, um, and this in the YSL and the Dior. They're definitely my top three foundations. I might honestly return the Clinique one. I just, I can't really stand how it feels on my face, and I feel like it just adds too much coverage to my face. I mean, I feel like I added a little bit more coverage because I had to redo my foundation, but it still looks good the whole day. It always looks good the whole day. It just gives me the coverage I want, and like, it always looks beautiful and luminous and pretty and glowy, and I just, that's what I want out of my foundation. I don't want something... That's so full coverage, it doesn't really show, like, I mean, even this is kind of more coverage than it usually gives, and I just feel like it still looks better, you know? So, we'll see how I feel about the other one, um, but for now, I obviously put on my Holy Grail because it's my favorite, so. And then I mixed it with the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops in N10 and the Kevin Aquan Celestial Liquid Lightning. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer. I mean the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I forget what shade I'm in. I will list it below if I remember. And the MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose. And then I set everything with the MAC Mineral Life Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. Then I primed my eyes with the Smashbox 24 Hour Primer. And then I um, went in with Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek as my tra transition shade. And then I went in with the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette today. I was going to use a chalk bar the Chalka Bonbons palette, but I'm going to use those over the next couple of days because obviously Valentine's Day is tomorrow and I just want to use the Chalka Bar palettes because they remind me so much of Valentine's Day, but anyway, um, then I went in with Nudie, then I darkened up the crease more with Couch and Bunny, then I darkened up the outer corner with Sexpresso, and then I went in with Silk Teddy on the lid. Somehow, like, my, my color on my eye just, like, completely faded today on the lid. I don't know what happened. I had to reapply my eyeliner like 10 million times and just ended up fading the, the lid color because when I was doing my lid color I and I was doing my eyeliner, my brother was like messing around with the dogs a little bit when he was trying, when he was going to take them out and he always like lets them out of the cape, out of the room when he's supposed to put the leashes on first before he lets them out. He always just like lets them out and doesn't put their leashes on because our puppy like won't come when he's called because... He's only a year, and he always, like, rebels against us, like, not coming when he's called. So, I got thrown off by that, and I, sh you know, opened the door, and I was like, can you just, you know, do what we tell you to do, blah, blah, blah. And I accident when I went back in the bathroom, I accidentally smudged my eyeliner, and it got smudged up into my crease. So I had to clean that up, and then I had to put the lid color on again, then I had to line my eyes again, and then, like, the pigment was fine then, but then I had to redo it again now, and it was just, like, a hot mess. So anyway, then I went in with Heaven on the brow bone, then I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper, then I primed my lashes with the Lancome Seals XU Seals XL Booster, and then went over them with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Makeup Forever Ultra, Ultra HD Concealer and the MAC Ribbon Primer Radiant Rose. Then I set that with Laura Mercier Secret Burning Powder. Then I went in with the MAC Attain to play Giga Black Lash on the bottom lashes. Then I went in with Starry Eyed by Makeup Geek on the inner corners. Then I contoured with the Marc Jacobs Instant Mark Dreamer Filter. Then I baked it with the lighter powder in the same uh, duo. Then I went in with MAC's... Um, powder blush in the shade Spellbinder, and then I highlighted with um, Too Faced kind of like glow in the shade Rosy Glow, and then I went over everything with the Hourglass and the Light Powder. Then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil, and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer, then I lined my lips with the ColourPop Aquarius Lip Liner, and then I filled them in with the um, Lime Crime Velveteen in the shade Buffy. For work, I did wear Nars's Audacious, Nars's Audacious Lipstick in the shade Raquel. Um, I really love that lipstick, but obviously, like, after work, I do like wearing a matte lipstick just so I don't have to worry about it 
going anywhere when I eat something and I just love this color so I decided to wear this now I'm going to take my makeup off I really feel so shitty I have such a headache and I don't know I feel like warm too so hopefully I'm not getting sick so yeah that's it bye okay so hi so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today happy valentine's day by the way everybody valentine's day isn't my favorite holiday but since I have a boyfriend, we try to do what we can to celebrate uh, Valentine's Day. He doesn't really like it, but he knows that I love it, so we just went out to dinner, so I decided to throw on a red lip. Um, <clears throat> it did work for about three or four hours, though. It was so stupid, though, because I just had to work, like, this breaker shift um, at work, and then I, you know, just got to go out with my boyfriend. So I primed my face with the Smashbox. Smashbox Primer Water and the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. Then I went in with the YSL Touche Clot Foundation in the color B10 Beige and the CoverFX Custom Cover Drops in N10 and the Kevin Aquan Celestial Liquid Lightning. Then I concealed and highlighted with Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm in the MAC Prepping Primer Radiant Rose. Then I set everything with the um, makeup. Sorry, I just got a, a text and it said makeup inspiration. Somebody like follow me on Instagram so that was sweet maybe that was somebody from YouTube um then I set everything with the MAC Merlite Skin Finish Natural in the shade medium then I um primed with the Smashbox 24 hour primer and then went over it with the MAC Merlite Skin Finish Natural and medium and then I went in with the makeup at with of course I was like the makeup geek can we like talk today um, I went in with Makeup Geek Speeches and Cream, and then I went in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette today. Um, I always think that this palette always reminds me of Valentine's Day, so I always stick with the Chocolate Bar Palettes around Valentine's Day. I went in with Salted Caramel first, and I darkened up the crease more with Milk Chocolate and um, Semi Sweet. Then I did originally go on with Cherry Cordial on the lip on the outer corner but then I deepened it up more for after work with the color Porter from ColourPop which is um one of Kathleen Light's shades and then on the lid I did originally go in with strawberry I believe it's strawberry bonbon from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette it's like that matte pink color which I really like how it looked for work I wish I would have taken a picture but I kind of forgot um, but then I went over it with, uh, ColourPop Super Shock Shadow and Telepathy, which is also from the Wear the Night Is collection, because I still haven't worn this one yet, and I just thought it went perfectly with my Snow White shirt, that I really wanted to wear it on the lid tonight, so that's what I wore. And then on the brow bone, I just mixed together white chocolate and champagne truffle, and then I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, and then I primed my lashes with the Lancome Primer, and then went over them with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm, and the Mac Prep and Primer Radiant Rose. And I set everything with the Laura Mercier. I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Brightening Powder. Did I say Power? <laughs> Then I um, coated my bottom lashes with the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash, and then I went in with Champagne Truffle from Too Faced, from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette on my inner corners. I really like this color on the inner corners. It's really pretty and subtle. Since I thought that the lid color was a little bit intense, I decided to go with a subtle, more subtle inner corner highlight, and I still think that it looked good. This is actually probably one of my favorite looks I've done, because I think I really did blend my eyeshadow a lot better than I usually do today, so I was pretty happy with that. <laughs> Then I contoured with the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit to keep with the chocolate bar theme with the medium shade and then baked it with the light cocoa shade. Then I went in, I did actually just keep my blush on that was um, the blush that I wore for work earlier because I thought it looked so pretty. I'm actually wearing two pink blushes today. Um, I went in with Milani's Tea, uh, Clinique's Cheek Pop in Pink Pop and then I went over it with Milani's Tea Rose. I haven't used that either of those blushes in a long time and I just thought they looked so pretty on that I just kept it the same blush with this I think it still looks really pretty with it I really need to stop being afraid of using pink blushes with certain looks I think that pink always looks good like just as good as as peach you know then I highlighted with originally for work I highlighted with um the Anastasia glow kit in gleam and I used crushed pearl and mimosa I believe um, but then I went over it with Anastasia's Pure Hollywood after work so I could get a little bit more of a gold highlight. It, you can still see the Anastasia, I mean it's all Anastasia highlighters that I'm wearing today. But 
she really is killing it with the highlighters lately. Like, I love those highlighters. And then, of course, I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Claire Brow Gel. Then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which is always usually the same. Then I um, primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Poison. And then I filled them in with um, Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Havana Nights. Um, I was going to go in with Makeup Monsters what Redwood, but then I really, like, really wanted to wear this one. This one is super comfortable as well, and it did last pretty well when I was eating, so this shade is pretty impref in impressive. impressive. Um, but for work, obviously, I didn't wear a red lip. I just, like I said, I didn't wear a liner because I wanted to make it easier for me to pop this color on my lid before my boyfriend got here. Um, but I wore Urban Decay's Revolutionary Lipstick in the shade um, Native today. I haven't worn that one like in forever, and I've been really wanting to wear a lot more of my like my pink lipsticks lately. Um, so that's why I wore Nars's Raquel yesterday, and then today I wore Urban Decay's Native. Um, but then usually you're seeing the lip color that I wear out. Like yesterday I wore Lime Crimes Buffy, and today I'm wearing Havana Nights. But I really. It really is overwhelming with lipsticks. Like, I think this is only the third time I've worn this lipstick, but I really am trying to get a lot of use as as many lipsticks as I can, and I'm having, like, ten lipsticks coming in the mail, so... Because I ordered stuff from Galactic, from Lime Crime, and from Jeffree Star, so... Yeah, but I will be doing Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick check-ins again because I ordered the color Androgyny, so I'm waiting for that, and I want to see if I like that formula more than I'm nude. We'll see. I'm, I'm going to give it a take-two review, and then I'm also going to be reviewing the Galactic Matte Lip Paints because I ordered two of them. So those videos will be coming soon. I'm not sure when a haul is going to be coming because I know I'm just rambling now because this video is not going to be up till next week anyway, but I did pick up a couple... A couple things from Sephora lately, and the Lime Crime and the Galactic, but that's pretty much it. And then, like, just one ColourPop order, but it's just a Kathleen Lights liquid lipstick and, like, two lip liners. So, we'll see when I can actually post a haul. I was thinking about just waiting until the end of the month until the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette and the Manny MUA Palette comes out from Makeup Geek. So, we will see, and that's it. Bye!